Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can burn tokens. So, generally speaking, what have you, do you have to do if you want to burn a token? You just send the token back to the issuer address. Um, but there is a safety mechanism in some that prevents sending a token if the issuer is black -holed. And in order to show you that, uh, yeah. Now, if, uh, in this case, I'm going to be burning ELS. And what you have to do, you just go to xrpl.services, you go to tokens, and then look for the issuer. You can just enter ELS, or uh, well, just enter the issuer name, and then click on the, to uh, on the token itself. Then you can see the issuer. In this case, this is the issuing address of ELS. But there's a problem. Uh, since ELS is black holed, some will prevent um, you from sending it to the issuer account. So we can try that now. We're going to click on send. I'm going to click on ELS. I'm going to try sending 10 ELS to this address here. And if I try to do that, the destination account says it's a black hole. Sending to this account will cause losing send ELS. And then you can confirm or anything. You just can click, can click on back. So this is just a safety mechanism uh, in order to prevent you accidentally doing something incorrectly. Uh, in order to bypass that, you have to use, uh, well, another website. Uh, you can, so I prefer to use, I prefer using the XRP toolkit in this case. So I will go to the XRP toolkit and click on add account. I click on some wallet, uh, so some app in this case. Uh, now I have to scan the QR code. Now I have to bypass that. Uh, so I'm just going to copy it down here. That's the login URL. So I'm just going to copy that and now um, paste it. So you just have to scan the QR code. In my case, it's not that simple for me. I have to actually uh, yeah, paste it there. And I've got it. And to the password, uh, then sign in. All right, so after doing so, I can just go to send. So now I have to select the wallet I just signed in. Then I can go to send. As destination, I enter the account address. Uh, so I enter the issuer. So in this case, that one, this address here. And then you can define what you want to send, ELS in this case. And I can, for example, send one ELS and click on next. And now this is actually just being prepared. And um, now the sum wallet is going to display to you that there is a sign request. And now you can just sign it. Uh, the transaction will go through. Uh, sign this transaction will result in the token being per burned. So be careful with that. This is irreversible, especially if you're sending it to a black hold account. Nobody can give it back to you. So now it's gone and the token is black. So the, the balance, so the one ELS is black hold. So you can see now here that it was being sent to this issuer. And yeah, it's gone. So yeah, that's just speaking how you can do it. Uh, you can also do use it probably just if you prepare a raw transaction, but I think the, so if you just go to the XLPL tools and click on raw and then prepare a payment transaction, but this is a little bit more difficult for a normal user. Uh, therefore, I would recommend, as mentioned, going to XLPL tokens, then looking for the issuer uh, by entering just the token name or whatever. So, so in this case, for example, if it's solo, it just enters solo, click on it, and then copy the address of the issuer. When you copy the address of the issuer, paste it, uh, in the in the destination when you're doing a send and then send the token. Be re very careful that you don't send XRP because it doesn't matter what you send there, it's going to be uh, lost forever. If I send XRP to this address, I also won't be able to retrieve it anymore. So yeah, because it's black hole. So obviously they send a flag that it doesn't want to receive XRP, but it's still possible to send XRP. All right, so that's basically it. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you now understand how you can burn tokens. And also this is very important that you know how to burn tokens because if you want to remove a trust line, the balance must be zero. Uh, so before I can remove the ELS trust line, for example, I must have a balance of zero. And if I don't, it's not possible. So I'll click on remove. You can see here that, well, maybe it works, but I don't think so. Well, we can try, I guess. So what will happen now? Yeah, so let's see. I assume it won't go through, even though the transaction is prepared here. Let's see what happens. And, okay. Interesting, this is very interesting. Okay, perfect. So it was able, so this just changes the balance. Okay, got it. Yeah, so it's it's still not removed really. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this just changes the limit, uh, even though you have the balances, yeah, you first have to send it away and then remove it, okay? This is more or less the easiest way you can do it. Okay, so, doesn't look good, what did it do? <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind, I'm gonna fix this some other time, uh, but yeah, perfect, that's how you can do it. Alright, so, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.